What's up logical people, this is Amar. How many coins would you need to measure the height of the Burj Khalifa, also known as the Khalifa Tower? This beautiful riddle is shared by Yuri. Based on my own experience, only 10% of the people can answer it correctly. And the remaining 90% answers would be very funny and innovative. So guys, even if you solve the problem correctly, I would highly encourage you all to comment below with a unique funny answer so that we all can enjoy the funny yet innovative ideas. But for now, pause the video and think logically for the real solution. Stacking up coins in any way or flipping is neither a practical solution nor a logical solution. So we have to think outside of the box to figure out a logical approach. Height is a form of distance. And when we think of distance, a few parameters automatically come to our mind such as speed, time, etc. So we can think of using just one coin to make the coin travel a distance equal to height h. So the answer has to be just one coin. But importantly, we have to come up with a proper approach to measure the height. So first we should get the values of some of these unknown parameters. Well, we can easily get the value of time by dropping the coin from the top of the tower using a stopwatch. Now, if you are thinking very practically that it's difficult to operate a stopwatch for such a large building, then I would say while dropping the coin, capture the exact timestamp in a digital clock. And your friend on the ground can capture the exact time at which the coin touches the ground. The difference would give you the time taken to cover the distance edge. Now consider you get the time as 10 seconds. You can assume any value for the sake of solving riddle. Since it's a free fall for the coin, the only force acting on the coin is the acceleration due to gravity. And we all know it's equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. Now we are very close to the answer. We just need the right formula to place the values. And there is a standard formula for distance covered in terms of initial velocity and acceleration, popularly known as the second equation of motion. Distance covered, that's h, is equal to ut plus a half at squared, where u is the initial velocity and a is the acceleration. And in this case, we know that when the coin was just dropped, its initial velocity was zero. And the acceleration here is the acceleration due to gravity, that is 9.8. Placing the values in the equation gives the value of the height. Please note that this value is just an example as we considered an example for the time as 10 seconds. I'll wait for your precious, innovative and funny comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these tricky riddles. Also check out hard puzzles on my channel Logically Yours.